Hi guys, I'm Patrick WWDC and welcome to the second lesson of Learn iOS 10 and Watch OS 3 tutorial. So today we are going to create our project. So what you want to do is open Xcode, go to File, New Project, then under iOS go to Application and then Single View Application. Call it Hello World, select Language Swift, Devices Universal and leave all three check marks checked. And don't forget that all the project files will be linked down in the description for each episode so you can download them, play with them and combine it into your... Okay guys, so there was a little crash of recording, that sort of stuff. It's all fixed now. So what you want to do when you, the project creates and all of that, you just want to go to main.storyboard. And if that doesn't work and it crashes your Xcode, there is a fix down below in the description. So yeah, I don't want any of you guys to go on the net and search for the fixes. I include them in the description if I know. If I don't include something, please let me know down in the description that I missed something, that you have some problem and I'll try to get the solution and put it in the description of the, vid of the video. So you want to drag a label here on the this iPhone screen. You want to go here. I forgot how it's called. Please, I'm I'm really sorry. Then, well, you probably want to make it bigger and choose a little bit nicer font. So how do you do it? Here at the font, you press this icon. Then on the font, you select custom Helvetica. This one is great font but style light or thin looks better than the regular one so i'll go with light and just you know increase the size and change this here or i can just double click it to hello world and that's it now just one thing so you know how the positioning is there are a lot of different sizes of iPhones now. So how do you position everything correctly? Well, you select this label here or here, however you want. This is just the hierarchy of this, this scene, of this view controller. So select it. Go down here, select this little icon. Go down here, select this little icon. And then just a second, something is positioned wrong. Let's just select like this. Okay, now it's positioned to the margins of the page. So select this again. And the constraint to margins, I don't think that's necessary. Actually, let's put it back to how it was. So it's positioned, as you can see, all the margins correctly. Now go here, and we are going to say that from the top of the screen, from the top of the because there is the status status bar so it's zero pixels 16 pixels to the right 16 pick 16 pixels to the left and 20 pixels to the bottom so it's going to position itself 20 pixels from the bottom zero pixels from the top 16 from the right and 16 from the left and we are go going to add these constraints now there is there are going to be future tutorials about constraints and all that stuff so don't worry about it but today we are just creating the hello world app and that's the main point of this and this is basically it we created the hello world app here on the screen you can see how it looks like when it launches on your phone it's very nice you know it works as it should and yeah guys that would be it from this second lesson Third one is coming very soon, so don't forget to check it out. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell button on the iPhone. I know there is so that it notif notifies you. And you can go to my channel and then click it so that it notifies you when a new video is available. So when a new lesson is released. So that is how you are going to be able to catch up easy, very easy and... This is going to be very easy to follow tutorials, so yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy each one. 
And yeah, as I said, comment down below if you don't understand something, want me to explain it more or you have some problem. And yeah, that would be it from this episode. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye. Have a good time.